Welcome back to another rig review. Today we're going to take a look at the Miosha rig. You can find it on Gumroad. It's another rig by Dmitry Kolpakov. You can see he has a lot of really cool deformations on the face and also comes with pickers. All right, this is the rig. Let's turn on the controllers. And first off, let's go to the main controller. You're going to see here all kinds of visibilities for your bembos, toes, and extras. But it also comes with a base. You can have this type of outfit or go back to fitness. And also, no face in terms of no rakes will be faster. A proxy version and the normal that's kind of slow. You can have lock geometry and smooth geometry. And I'm looking at rig version 1.1. So I don't know why, as always, I'm going to go down to the feet and shoes and with the extra toes, just pointing this out here, it gives you this, which is interesting. There are no feet in there. There's no model with feet, but it gives you, if you want to do any type of toe wiggle, I guess, through the shoe, you have these controls, of course, for the toes, but I could inquire about what that is if I'm missing something where you can turn off this, but I don't see it in the model. So interesting choice there for the toes. You have, of course, this here where you can move your foot around with the pivot off the heel. You also have the main controller to move the foot around like this. This also comes with the pull vector for the knee. But at the same time, you also have a swivel control in the channel. You got the classic roll. Watch out, there is a bit of a, you can see here how the foot goes off the ground on that roll, but you do have roll angle change. You also have a rocking channel, which I was a big fan of because it pivots right uh, nicely right off the side there. Stretchy functions, anti-pop, you also have a scale change for all kinds of areas there. So classic stuff on the feet. Then you also have this for a foot roll if you want. So if you don't want to go through the channel and you do a foot roll like this, you can see how this is a bit better in terms of staying on the ground as the front part is not deformed. And you have, of course, the toes here. And this goes for all sides here. It looks like I'm not completely at zero. And then Bembos, classic stuff here. You got that on the knees all the way up. And then as we have here, you have changes for this. You can change that shape if you need to on both sides, of course. Then you have your hip controls that only moves the hip and not the chest, which is cool. And then here actually you can change the IK FK blend on the chest. But before I do that, you have the root controller does what it's supposed to do. And then here you can move it like this, but it is an FK control. So you have that on your chest here, but you can change this to IK FK blend. So now you are a bit more like this on the changes. Switch this back to FK. Then we have breast control for all the options there, whatever you need to do. Use this responsibly, of course. Then you have shoulders all right so you have that in terms of rotations and translates fairly straightforward a lot of good stuff here you got bembos all the way up to the shoulders do all that all the way down to here these are the fk controls and of course you can switch this and you can see how this switches to ik you got your ik control with the sticky hand stretchy functions anti-pop and also length and scale as well but i don't see any way to change how the orientation would change on this meaning that if i move my arm around that it is actually following the uh forearm and not the world bit of a bummer because i like having a non-sticky ik arm function but anyway let's continue on we have of course finger controls here they do what they're supposed to do. What is this? That is the cupping here. I see. Probably also with translates. Yes. And you got finger controls. Nothing crazy here. They do what they're supposed to do. 
On here though, it's interesting. You have whoa crazy town in terms of IK. What is going on here? But let's just move this back. All right. So you might have some crazy town right off the bat with your with your FK fingers. So watch out as you switch this. But that being said, it's interesting to have FK fingers. Stickiness, whenever you put these on a table or something, whatever you have, that's actually pretty cool to have. And you have a pole. Interesting, that's cool. I like this, let's bring this back. Very neat. Of course, both sides are doing the same thing. Going up here, I don't see hair control. Interesting. Bends a neck. Okay, that also takes the hair with it. IK, FK head, where you can change the global nature of it. Interesting, with the lower neck option. So if I do global off and I take this, it's going to move it like that. It has an interesting stretchiness. Interesting. I don't know if that's because of that. You do have squash and stretch, which is interesting. It's interesting deformation though on that head and with the angle. There's nothing in the folder where there is a readme or anything. So, and I haven't seen anything on the other rigs where it tells me something about the hair. So, so far there seems to be no option to animate the hair. Also be tricky with all the different strands, but maybe as a global control, that would be interesting. That being said, you do have options for the ear with the earring following and you can animate that as well, which is cool. And you can see in the layers, there's nothing for the body. So you're gonna have to go in there in the outliner. So in the outliner, you can hide the hair, but you still have the earrings. You can go in there and you see them here, the hair rings, but it looks like they have already inputs, but I'm not seeing anything in terms of, again, hiding the hair. And there's nothing in here either. You have that in terms of selecting it. There's nothing as you can see for that and even on the face you got this you got the squash you got the select you got the brows you have all of that which is a really nicely detailed facial setup so i guess you have to manually put these on a layer and hide them like that but of course it is completely possible that i missed something but i did double triple quadruple check nothing there but i would say this is probably user error anyway let's continue on you have your eyes like this ooh, with the information on the lids. That's always cool to already have in there built in. You have, of course, separate eye control. Be kind of neat. Uh, there's no option here to turn off the lids influence. And if I go here, let me see. You have blinks already blinked in here. Oh, you can change the center. So as you blink, it closes somewhat in the middle. But now you can change where that happens which is very cool big fan of that let's go back here you have of course upper lower lid separately you have a squint right there iris change and pupil change lots of options and as you go in here you have of course all kinds of options to change rotations and translates in just all kinds of ways to reshape this including the corners it's very cool this goes into cheek control all kind of details and the master cheek control. It's really nice. Same thing for the brow. So here you have eyebrow, mid joints. You have a bit more influence there, as you can see. And also with rotates, you have the whole eyebrow, including also just separate controllers. It's very cool. Of course, both things, both sides here. Then you have overall cheek control here. You have a, a massive nose control for this, but at the same time, also smaller, separate controls there. Yep, nose tip. Yeah, lots of details here. Nostrils and the bigger aspect there. And that ring, no control, just checking. Then the mouth, what is this? Must be teeth? Yes, it is. So if I open the mouth here, you have a tooth control there including scale including scale you have upper lip translate and rotate for those rolls you have 
corners here. These are the master controls, including the smaller. So you have main controllers, smaller controllers, both sides. And then what is this here? That's uh, the bigger shape. Oh, and then you have zip on the lips. Cool. Lots of stuff. It's very detailed, I have to say. And looking at this, again, you have all of this here. Let me bring this in the child control. You have selections for everything. The lids, all the separate pieces. The eye in general, again, that gives you all the blinks. You got the nose, the lip, all of that. And then also, as I'm seeing this in the picker, you do have tongue control to move that around. The jaw, all lips, teeth, ring, and the ear. Very cool, very detailed. All right, I think that is pretty much it. It's fairly straightforward. Nothing crazy, but interesting. It's it's not on the super cartoony side, but you still have squash and stretch option. Sorry, that is the head. But you do have that option if you want, but you do have here that option on the head. That's it. I believe that is it on the rig. I want to check out some more stuff. As always, if I find more things that I missed, I'm going to add that in the comments. If you have used this rig and you saw something that I missed, uh, let me know. I did triple check but you never know but also just as a disclaimer i am using version 1.1 so maybe so check what version you have uh, as those rigs are frequently updated all right that's it from me thank you for watching